Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Happy Thursday. And it's time to talk about another song, another Eurovision win. Sorry, I spilled some out. I spilled some years out, so. Let's pick a winner. Who is what year will I talk about this time? Uh, we can take you. This one would be fine. Oh, we're going way back in the days. 1958. So, 1958, here we come. Yeah, and before we begin with 1958, let's talk the recap, because there were not a lot of songs back in the days. There were 10 songs that year, and I saw in the comments underneath the winner that someone demanded a recount, because this is the year we got Volare. I was like, wait, it is that year? And he came third when I saw the results, so let's see the recap. This is only 10 songs, so I think we can manage that, right? Italia, wow! Okay! This is an iconic song! But that's the thing when it comes to Eurovision. Either you're gonna win or you're gonna become an icon. He didn't win, but that song, you know that song is still to this day, and that is almost 70 years ago you know that song today okay it was a little bit different back then much simple okay okay that's the voice who was she wait who is this where is she from uh, Pais Bios. Uh, let's see. I had the Wikipedia page next to me, so uh, who who was she? Uh, Pais Bios. Who was she? Uh, not the, who was this? Pais Bios. I don't know who this was. Okay, someone. I have no idea who you are. Wait, did she finish? Yeah, she finished 10, so let's scroll down. Oh, okay. Was this... Uh, I have no idea. Great vocals, honey. She's gorgeous, too. This is the win. So this was the winner. Francia. I never heard the song before. I mean, come on, you can never deny a French song like this. Oh, oh that was. That was a voice. Luxembourg, okay. I love her voice. Ah, hello, Alice Babs. Lila Khanna. I think this was our deb debut year. And we came forth, hey! Ah, Alice Babs. Wait, it was Alice Babs, right? Yeah, I have to go back. Yeah, Alice Babs. <laughs> Sorry. Denmark, okay. Dinamarca, yeah. Denmark. Okay, she looks beautiful. Oh, you look so cheeky with Belgium. Okay. This makes me smile. Ah, Almania, we are from Germany. 
She looks like a beauty queen. What is that? Miss something. Austria. These people can sing. I mean, girl, you can sing. There was no all tune back then. All is Asia. She came second. She was so close to a Lorraine. Wait, what points did she get? I'm sorry, I'm jumping. Oh, she was not that far behind. She almost won twice within three years. 50, she won 56 and DC 58, so she almost won twice within three years. Okay, this Asia. And she looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. She looks. So I mean, I gotta say, looking back at the recap of 1958. Wait, I need to put, uh, my pencil. I need to find all the years I have written it down. So let's see. 1958. Two down. 79 to go. Anyway, let's talk about the winning entry from France. Yes, let's talk about the winner. Uh, but before we do go that, let's see the scoreboard. Because it is 10 songs, so... Aww, look at that tiny stage! It looks so adorable. A little bit different than what we have today. The contents overview, let's see. I want to see the results. Uh, okay, here we have it. And I think this, the country I didn't realize who it was, it was the Netherlands. So, okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how the scores, scores work back in the day. Because uh, Belgium gave only, oh, what was it, Denmark only gave, how many songs? Oh, okay, is this how it works? They had collected scores and then just for what they voted for, because Italy did the same, voted for two people, and then uh, Switzerland voted for several, and Germany votes for three, Denmark, imagine doing that today, ooh, the scores, but France was the only song that gave po got points from all of them, but Switzerland yeah, got higher overall scores, if you look here, but France got one, two, three high scores, and Switzerland Got five, but okay. But I think the song I was missing, I didn't understand who it was. It has to be the Netherlands because the Netherlands was the only one I didn't talk about. Corey Broken, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the what it maybe it was the Netherlands. I didn't understand who it was. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's talk about the winner Doris Monamour. What a I wonder what what does what does what does that mean? I don't know. I guess a love song. So let's see France. That who can it anders by the France the liefde tot onderwerp heeft. The stage is so adorable. There is André Claveau, and with him is made to come the France the liefde. This is the old days. We gaan dus voor Frankrijk luisteren naar André Claveau. I think look, my parents were my dad was three and my mother was one when this happened. This is old days. Met door mon amour, het derde liedje. Mon amour, door mon amour is I guess a love song. Okay. Okay, you you have me in the French mood right now. Oh, okay. 
sommeil d'un rideau de bonheur. I mean, I'm gonna say, I think I've never heard the full version of this song before in my whole life. I can understand why this one, because looking at it right now, I'd be like, oh, you, you have me in a French movie, romantic French movie or something. And you sold me, so I can understand why this one. Je suis un roi. I'm I'm sold. I understand why this one. Je suis ton âme, pas à pas, sur son chemin de joie. Ah. Et je m'amuse à me pencher sur ton sommeil étoilé. Merci, la France. Le soleil est encore loin du jour. This is so adorable. Et la nuit nous comprend. Dors, mon amour, protégé par mes bras qui entourent ton sommeil d'un rideau de bonheur. Dors au cœur. I'm so sold. I'm so sold on this. Chante la voix de ta vie qui va tout près de moi. Et je sens comme un souffle très doux qui caresse ma joue. Oh, this is so romantic. Mon amour, ma princesse endormie dans sa tour, j'aperçois le sourire du matin. Voici le soleil de demain, le grand soleil. I mean, I'm gonna say, I, I think I understand why this song won because I, th I think I never heard the song. I think, you know, you heard like a snippet of the song when you look in the old winners from 56 to 2020-24. But I never heard the full song. I, have, I think I've never listened to the full song until today. And I'm gonna say, I understand why this one, because I understand completely why this one. Because this is French romantic love song with a twist and a touch of a magical mo vocal performance. Oh, I gotta say, you deserve that win, sir, back in the days. You deserve the win. Wait, what was his name again? I'm sorry, I forgot all about it. André Clavou? Clavou? Uh, I gotta say, André Clavou, you deserve that win so badly, sir. That was not... Is he still alive today? Like, wait, is he still alive? Wait, let's watch. Uh, I don't know if this this is Wikipedia, but still, let's see if I, if there's something on him. Is this still alive today? Oh no, he died 20 years ago, age 91. Rest in peace, sir. Uh, he was a popular French from he was a popular fr singer in France from the 40s to the 60s. He won the Eurovision Song Contest in 58 with "Sleep, My Love." Uh, Winning at the age of 46 years. He was the oldest winner until 1990, with the, being the first and only winner prior to the 1990 to triumph in the 40s. <laughs> wow, that was a different way to say it, but in a way, rest in peace, legend, sir. You had a great vocals and the yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say, I would love to hear something like this from France to come later, because this is old school, this is 
iconic and this is beautiful. I mean, when France really nails it with the ballot, they win it. So, I see something from Google News. I was like, okay, the pair did what? But anyway, I'm gonna say, I'm so happy that I actually got to watch this. This was beautiful, iconic, and we also had the Volare song. This was, this was a strong year. For, for 1958, I'm gonna say, it was a strong year. Because pretty much everyone nailed it. Everyone nailed it, everyone sounded great, everyone had good vocal performance. So, yeah, I'm gonna say 1958. That was a good year. So, yeah. It is, I have overmarked it over here. 1958. Thank you so much, and let's... This is fun. So anyway, bye. Oh hi, you're still here. Have you, you, I hope you have not forgotten to subscribe. So subscribe here and look for the uh, recommended video over here and end credit now. Bye. <laughs>